Good morning, people. My name is Brandon Merchant, and this morning I uh, just wanted to come to you with the daily reading of the Word um, from the Bible app, uh, if you guys are on there today. But I just wanted to really dissect, uh, use the opportunity to really dissect the Word and hopefully uh, give life to you. Um, so, dearly, Father, we just come before you, thanking you for this day. We thank you for all things that you have prepared for us. We ask that you would give us uh, the strength, the patience, the joy, um, all the things that we need today uh, to do what it is you have for us and to become all that you have for us. Um, and Father, we just ask that this word be nourishing to uh, each person that hears this and that their spirit is refreshed um, for what you have for them and what is ahead of them for their own lives. It's in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I just got sometimes you're just gonna have to roll with me, okay? We gotta roll with the punches. Just like life, we gotta roll with the punches here, all right? <laughs> um, so the word today comes from Psalm 20, uh, chapter 23, verse 4. And it reads here, uh, I'm reading in the um the NIV version. So NIV says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And, you know, one of the things that stood out in that particular verse to me is the word through. Um, I think a lot of times when we talk about walking through these different seasons of life, um, I'm sure a lot of us, you know, maybe in your current situation, past situations that you've been in, You've probably prayed and asked God to remove you from those situations because they were just so difficult to bear. Uh, it seemed like you had the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, you may feel that way right now in your, in your season of life that God has you in. But I, I, I tell you this in, in confidence that your um, darkest valley that you perceive this to be that you're going through right now, it is ultimately there so that it can build you. And I know it sounds like something you may not want to hear in the moment, but the walking through, it means it, it, it's, it's a symbolization of, of something that has to be done. So, for example, when things are made in production um, in, in factories, right? Um, I don't know, your favorite food uh, or snack or even, I don't know, your tools. I don't know, guys are handymen, um, you know. Those things have to go through a process in order for them to come out as the product that you get when you're using it, right? So the product that has to be put to use can't be put to use until it goes through the different things that it has to go through in the factories, you know, to, to shape it and mold it and sculpt it and get it into the right, just the right exact shape for it to actually do what it's purposed to do. And the same thing is with you. Uh, I'm not calling you uh, just a product by any means necessary, but what I'm trying to say is that because God had a plan for you prior to you even being here, there's a process that he has to put you through at times to mold, to shape, to get you into the right position, not just the right. And, and the thing is, I think a lot of us want to be in the right position, but Sometimes we it's it's better off for us not to be in the in the considered the right position to obtain the things we want because we're underdeveloped. If I have a screwdriver that isn't necessarily carved out or sculpted the right way, it's not going to fit into the groove when I go to unscrew a screw. And that and at that point, that's when I realized, wow, I wasn't that the, the screwdriver that that was that was given to me is not good. It's not there to be able to uh, do what it's needed to do in that moment. And how many of us have reached those moments in our lives where we, we receive something or we obtain something and we ask ourselves, man, I, or say to ourselves, man, I wasn't ready for that. Man, I, you know what? I could have maybe used some extra time to build this. I see why I needed to go through this. Um, and God's, he, he's, God, he's asking you to trust him so you don't have to do that. Because a lot of times when we go through things uh, or we try to obtain things our way and we miss the going through, right? See, David was a shepherd, right? This, this is this, the, the, the history behind this is that um, David, who was the son of Jesse and eventually became king of Israel, um, as we know, was a shepherd prior to that. 
and he was responsible for tending to the sheep in his father's um, in his father's house from his father's house and this is referring to his time as a shepherd and this was a time you know nobody and, and this is as we as we all know um in in first samuel the process of god choosing him to be king was not you know i would say uh you know in, in lights like hey this is the guy because jesse didn't always see that he was the one that was meant to be king he looked at all his other sons and considered them more appropriate for kingship than david but little did he know that god was grooming him for what was to come in his next season and part of that was was having him to trust him even in the fields as he was tending to sheep the same way that he would ultimately um tell david to trust him when he was tending to the armies that he was running the kingdom that he was um that he was managing as king right and we all know he he messed he, you know there were some things that took place years down the line but but that's beside the point what I'm saying is that this was a time that David was being pruned for what was to come, but it wasn't in the way that most people would think. So in your life, right, think about what, what's going on in your life right now, what may have happened in your life. Uh, we had to walk through what seemed like the darkest of valleys. And all you had was, you know, in this, in this particular verse, David refers to, I have, you are with me, Lord, my, with thy rod, with your rod and your staff. Now he literally had a rod and a staff out in the field. And again, if something was to come out and try to attack him, it seems like something that wouldn't have been too much of a thing. And guess what it's similar to? Guess what that's similar to, guys? Isn't that similar to the, the rock, the slingshot that David used to kill the giant? But okay, we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. But the point is, it was something that only God said, I'm going to use in that season. So what in your season right now is God saying, I've given you all that you need. Not, you don't have all the money. You may not have all the money in the world. You may not have all the resources in the world. You may not have um, the answers to everything right now. But he, he's, he's telling you, I've given you all that you need. So what you have is is more than enough and it's not necessarily because of what you possess physically but it's what you who you possess who you are who you are yoked to which is god himself in this season so i just wanted to just drop some wisdom some guidance and hopefully some encouragement to you guys who are going through these difficult times you know the world is it's a very evil place right now um a lot of things happening um you know, my condolences and um, I, my prayers and my, my prayers are being lifted up for the families down in Nashville um, with the tragedy that took place yesterday. But, you know, in these in these times, right, we have to remember that God is with us and that God will be the one who who exalts us and lifts us to to better places, not our own ways and certainly not the devil's way. And so with that. Again, Psalm 23, verse 4. Um, definitely hope you guys meditate on that today. Hopefully this message, again, is powerful, uplifting, and it hopefully unlocking something new in your perspective and your sight when it comes to this life and this season. God bless.